Hi guys, this is Anna from Anna and Ivy in Sticker Studio and today I will show you how to use our animated mockups inside of Photoshop. So what you will need is Photoshop 2018 or newer. This is super important because the other and the older Photoshop um, versions don't work with this. So what you will get is a PSD file and an MP4 file. You have to open the PSD file inside of Photoshop and here we go. The first thing you have to check is if your image is completely open because we will place the video clip into this um, PSD file and it has to align with the background image. This means you have to take care um, about a complete open file which means you have to see the corners of your image and don't leave it like this for example. So it has to be simply completely open, doesn't matter how much you scale it up or down, you just need to see the whole file. In the next step I will click on put animation above this layer, layer and then simply drag and drop the mp4 file in here. Here we go. Press enter. So these are two steps. Open the PSD file and then simply drag and drop the animation inside of this. So the next step is to open your design file which would be placed here. From here it's basically um, like a normal mockup so to speak. So you simply double click on your design here and then place your design or your image or whatever you want to place in here. I will simply take an, I don't know, a color. Here we go. And then save this one and close it. So this is how your mockup mock -up looks now. It looks basically like normal mockup. So the main part is after drag and dropping the animation in here to open the timeline. Go to window and then timeline. So I already prepared the timeline for you so you won't, don't need to adjust anything in here. So the frames are 60 frames per second. It's because I want the animation to be very smooth and it has the duration of 20 seconds. So it's a loop, this means if it ends here, it starts again here. In case you want to post it, for example, in, in on Instagram, you will have a smooth and very clear loop. The other thing I want to mention is if you want to, for example, crop this whole thing, you can do as you would do with any other Photoshop file, so there's no difference. In case you want to have a square size canva, so to speak, you can crop it as you would do with every other image inside of Photoshop. Let's say you want to add text into your animation in your video clip. And your cursor is somewhere here. I click in here, like I would do with every other document and leave the text like this and then you can already see um, the text or the text layer starts in the timeline where my small cursor is. This means always make sure or this is what I do, always make sure your cursor is at the very beginning. You can see the number here at 000. If you move it, it changes. So make sure it's over here. And simply drag your um, text or your object or whatever you put in here to the left so it starts where your animation starts and simply drag it to the very right so it ends where your animation ends in case you want to have it like this. Um, the other thing is if you want to have a shorter animation if you don't want to use the loop you can simply move this small thing here to the left and to the right and it 
is basically the end of your animation. So let's say we want a 10 second animation for some reason. Um, the animation in the exporting will end at 10 seconds. So now let's export this video clip. Go to File, Export, and we will click on Render Video Clip or Render Video. Here you can see all the settings. You can choose the for a destination folder in here, and then these are the settings. Yours should be the same. So it's document size at the size section, it's 9020 and 1080, and the frame rate is 60 frames per second. So simply click on render. This will take a bit. Um, it's just because uh, Photoshop is not the fastest when it comes to exporting uh, video clips. I just want to mention, in case you don't want to use this animation in, or the, the, this mock-up inside of Photoshop, but maybe inside of After Effects, I left mask options here. So these are the masks for the mock-up, just in case. So our video clip is finished. You can now watch it in here. And that's it. If you have any questions left, please feel free to um, write me a message or write me a comment. And yeah, I wish you a lot of fun with the collection. And yeah, see you next time. Bye!